Welcome to the National Button Society's series of button craft tutorials, Capturing the Magic of Buttons. This tutorial features a buttoned up flower pot. The National Button Society provides this series of tutorials in response to its members' increased interest in using their non-collectible buttons in artistic ways. This series of No Harm Button Crafts and the other button craft ideas on the National Button Society website support its mission to preserve all that is beautiful and historic in buttons. Access to this series is a membership benefit along with quarterly bulletins and online button education resources. You can see more about what membership offers you online at nationalbuttonsociety.org. The button dove flower pot is pretty easy to make and takes less time than you might think. You'll need a flower pot, measuring tape, fabric, scissors or rotary cutter, Mod Podge glue, foam pad brush or wide bristle brush, Mod Podge gloss, which is optional, decorative trim, also optional, buttons, and a hot glue gun. Your first step is to find a clay pot like the one shown. We'll work with one that measures four and a half inches in diameter and four inches tall. An eight inch deep by 17 inch wide piece of fabric was used for this pot. You can use a bigger or smaller pot, of course. You'll just have to measure the pot to determine the size of the fabric you'll need. Measure from inside the lip of the pot down the side of the pot and just short of the pot's drainage hole for the pot's depth. Add four inches to the depth. For the width, measure around the circumference of the top and add two inches. Adding the extra inches will ensure you have plenty of fabric to work with. Step two is to cut your fabric to the measurements of the depth and width including those extra inches. You can use a rotary cutter or scissors to cut it. In step three, tape the end of your fabric to the inside of the pot to hold it temporarily. Then wrap the rest of the fabric around until the fabric meets. Trim the fabric straight down the depth of the fabric. In step four, get your bottle of glue and a foam pad brush or wide paintbrush ready to use. Mod Podge is used in this tutorial because it's also a sealer and it bonds more strongly than most craft or school glues. Because the Mod Podge bottle is so small, pouring some of it in a plastic cup makes it easier to load the brush with glue. In step five, start spreading a medium thick coating of the glue onto the pot. Smooth the fabric onto the glue as you progress around the pot. The fabric will likely start to lay diagonally on the pot. You can either layer it or trim it back to where the seam will meet. If you layer it, apply glue to the fabric on the pot before smoothing on the next layer. Smooth out noticeable bubbles in the fabric and reapply glue if necessary to make the fabric stick to the pot. In step six, trim the fabric edges. For the top, trim the fabric to a length that will be long enough to reach the ledge on the inside of the pot. On the bottom, trim the fabric to a length that will stop outside of the hole. Clip easement cuts into the fabric on the top and bottom of the pot. Clip into the fabric just short of the fold line. The cuts will help the fabric fit smoothly to the surface. In step seven, apply glue to the top of the pot down to the inside ledge. Smooth the fabric down, overlapping the fabric where the easement cuts allow. Do the same on the bottom of the pot. Don't worry about perfection here. Another coat of glue will be applied to help smooth out the folds. 
In step eight, brush the fabric on the outside and inside of the pot with the Mod Podge glue. Let it dry completely. If you would like to add a shine to your pot, which will complement the shine of your buttons, in step nine, apply a Mod Podge or similar gloss luster product all over the fabric. Let the pot dry completely. For step 10, go through your buttons. The black and white fabric on the pot being demonstrated calls for white buttons. But for a little pop of color, a length of green rickrack is used. Your choice of fabric will guide you to the types and colors of your craft buttons you choose to use. You can decorate with just buttons, or also use a bit of lace or cord as trim. It's your creation. Start step 11 when your pot is completely dry. If you are adding trim, use a hot glue gun to anchor one end of it. Wrap the trim around the pot and cut it where the ends will meet. Finish the trim placement by applying a line of glue around the pot for the trim to stick to. Step 12 is to hot glue your buttons. This button design is using four large, four medium, and eight small white non-collectible craft buttons. You can use whatever design you would like and use as many buttons as you would like. If your design is similar to the one shown, divide the top into quarters visually and put a large button at each quarter. Next, center a medium button between the two large buttons within a quarter. Finish by gluing a small button to either side of the medium button. Repeat that placement in the three remaining quarter sections. If the edge of the fabric inside the pot looks rough or messy, step 13 is to add a piece of trim to cover it up. This step is optional. If you're going to plant something in your pot, the dirt will cover up the rough edge. But if you decide to display it or use it in another way, the trim will give it a more finished look. Use the hot glue gun on it like you did on the front of the pot. Congratulations, you're done. We hope you enjoyed the National Button Society's Buttoned Up Flower Pot tutorial. For more button craft ideas, button education, and information on state button societies and local clubs, visit nationalbuttonsociety.org. Also look for us on Facebook. We're planning fun contests and opportunities for members to share button craft creations. You can also share your creations or ideas with us via email at creative at nationalbuttonsociety.org. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Bye now.